Breeding of cows and buffaloes. The activity of controlling the mating and production of offspring of animals is known as breeding. In India, proper care is not given while selecting the breed of these animals. Moreover, as the methods adopted by farmers for dairy operations are not scientific, the milk yield is low. To solve this problem, the government of India has introduced a program called Operation Flood or White Revolution. A hybrid cow gives a better milk yield of 8 to 20 litres a day. It also has to withstand extreme climatic changes. The method of breeding between two different breeds of the same animal is called cross-breeding or outbreeding. For cross-breeding, bulls of the desired variety can be imported and crossed with the cows of our country. However, a few problems associated with this method are 1. Since importing live animals is difficult and a costly process, the number of bulls imported is very less. So the desired number of animals do not reach the villages. 2. Moreover, for crossing, the bulls and cows must be in a suitable physiological condition, which is commonly called heat. Also, one bull can fertilize only one cow at a time. 3. Each cow bears only one calf at a time and is not ready for giving birth to another calf for the next two years. In this lifetime, a cow can give birth to a maximum of 8 to 10 calves. 4. The reproductive capacity of bulls and cows decreases as they become old. In such a case, they need to be imported very often. To overcome these problems, three methods have been developed. 1. Artificial insemination. In this method, the semen is collected under sterile and hygienic conditions from the bulls and is stored frozen at minus 196 degrees Celsius in liquid nitrogen. In this state, the sperms are active for a long period 10 to 12 years. The frozen semen is sent to artificial insemination centers present all over the country. When the cows are in heat, the stored semen is used. The frozen semen is warmed to the room temperature and introduced into the cow. This process is called insemination. The sperms fertilize the ovum, eggs and in most cases, the cows become pregnant. The advantages of this method are 1. The semen from one bull can be stored and hence for approximately 3,000 cows. Hence, a small number of bulls are enough to inseminate a large number of cows. 2. Since the number of bulls required is less, the cost involved in purchasing and maintaining them is minimized. 3. As the semen can be transported in frozen condition, live bulls need not be imported from other countries. A cow in heat process releases only one ovum, which after being fertilized by a sperm, gives one embryo. This develops into a calf. However, the process of fertilization is a chance process. Hence, cows are injected with a hormone called serum gonadotropin, which induces the release of more than one ovum in one cow. 
This process is called super ovulation. After fertilization, the embryos, which are four to five in number, are taken out and transferred to the carrier cows. In course of time, these embryos develop into calves in the carrier cows. This process is called embryo transfer technique. Following this method, we have four to five calves in one year. These methods also help in maintaining a good genetic population of the livestock. Buffaloes are mostly found in India and other Asian countries. In countries like America, their milk yield is low and not very popular. A buffalo gives more milk than a cow, and its milk has more fat. Also, they are more resistant to diseases than cows. There are seven breeds of buffaloes in our country. These include Murha, Baravari, Jafrabadi, Surti, Mesana, Nagpuri, and Nili Ravi. Each breed is found in specific regions of the country, and they differ in their body color, shape, and length of horns, also in shape and size of their forehead. Murra breed of buffaloes have been recognized by the government of India as the best native milk yielding breed. It yields about 8 liters of milk a day and about 1800 to 2200 liters per year. Besides milk, the skin of the cattle is used for making leather goods, while bones are used in fertilizers and other industries. Bullocks are used in agricultural operations like plowing, drawing water from wells, and carrying loads. The dung from the cattle is dried and used as fuel in villages. The dung obtained from cattle is mixed with bacteria and is used for production of biogas. In some countries, the meat obtained from the cattle is used as a staple food item. Hybrid cows are produced by crossing between native cows and bulls from other countries. They yield more milk than native cows and can tolerate extreme climatic conditions of our country. Modern methods such as artificial insemination, super ovulation and embryo transfer technique are used for the production of hybrid cows. In artificial insemination, the semen is collected from the imported bulls and stored for further use. When required, it is introduced in cows. In superovulation method, the cows are injected with gonadotropin to increase the production and release of ova from the cow. In embryo transfer technique, the ova are collected and fertilized with the sperm. The carrier cows are the ones in which these fertilized eggs are introduced at a later stage. The Murrah breed of buffaloes is the best native milk-yielding breed.